Oh, Todd, Todd should be okay. We'll, we'll get through training today and um, you know uh, hopefully be available for selection. Look, we took him out of the game last week just with some hamstring tightness. It was nothing serious, but we've got some evidence back that suggests he's good. So he'll train today and hopefully get through that all okay and be right to play. So he'll hold Redigal Lee back. Yeah, he, he unfortunately because he, he had his stuff happen last Thursday, he's probably going to miss this week. So yeah, you know we we won't um, do anything silly with that. We'll make sure we manage it the right way. Does the Connor Rosie miss the factor into the Marshall decision at all? No, no, they're completely different. And and Todd's I said we Todd's was a conservative decision on last Sunday, and the reality was we've got scans, we've got all the evidence that suggests that there's nothing wrong with his hamstring. So you've had a lot of sort of. Minor hamstring. Yeah, yeah it's f- fatigue. Yeah. Fatigue does that. I mean, that's what happens. And then even Todd, when he came up on the weekend, he was like, I've never done a hamstring. I actually don't know, but it just feels tight. So I said, mate, if it's tight, we're not going to take that risk. We have got some recent experience that we don't want to get that wrong. Can we finally put a tick on Rioli? Is that hey? going to finally happen? Rioli's going to reappear. Yeah, well, well, hopefully if he gets through the rest of the week and trains and does what he needs to do, he'll be available for selection, whatever level that is. He has missed a lot of footy. We'll be a bit careful about that. So whether he plays AFL or he plays sample, we'll make that decision later in the week. So he's conditioning a bit down. Isn't he? Well, he hasn't. He was sick last week. He was over his calf, but he was sick. So he has missed a little bit of conditioning, but he's a pretty natural player. So we're, we're going to, if you don't mind, we're going to hold our, our decision-making process on him until we see what he gets through the rest of the week. Do you suspect Asavo back next week? Then? Yeah, we would think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if it wasn't Thursday, I would expect he would have nearly played this week. But caution. The way Pat was able to thrive with that bit more responsibility, does that uh, sort of change the way you, you think you may set up defensively going forward? No, not, not so much, I don't think, but we, we, not, we, have, we haven't got that decision in our hands just at the moment, so we, we'll wait and see what, what the matchups. It would be probably, if there was a week to be ideal with that three tools, it would be probably this week with the way the Bulldogs are, so um, you know, we, look, we look forward to those decisions when we have to make them. Can what you read on contested footy? I mean, the numbers don't favour you at the moment. Yeah, well, ultimately you need to be somewhere around breaking around even with, with the contest. There's no doubt about that. There's different types of it, though. There's a lot, so I keep saying this, there's a lot of things that go into contested possession. I think simply if you sit there and just read the number, it can be a bit a, a bit wrong. It can be a bit of a, you know, free kicks against. They go into contested possession. Like if you give away 10 extra free kicks and you lose contested possession by 10, is it your intent's not right? Is it, your, is it just that you're a bit aggressive? I don't, I see so many things that go into it. Ideally, you need to be close, though. You can't get beaten badly. We've, we've seen that happen to us. Yeah. Beaten badly, you don't win. So what's your read on your numbers? You, you see them better numbers than we do. What's your read on it? I think we're, um, we, we tend to be quite aggressive with three kicks against. We tend to get after the ball fairly well. But, you know, and we've, um, you know, our, our, you know, our front of centre players are not quite as strong in the contest when it comes to contested marks and those sort of things. We don't get big numbers in that. There's little bits of everything that go into it. And for us, ultimately, um, you know, we, we tend to do sit back and look at contested possession and think it's just inside the midfield, but it's a bit bigger than that. So our read is we'd much rather be winning contested possession, is the simple answer. How challenging is it this week considering what the Bulldogs have done to you in the past in that sense? It's really challenging. It's a, it's a challenge for us um, every week. And again, as I said, against the Bulldogs, have got great history and they play they play a brand of football around around the contest. It's it's really hard to to um, compete with at times, but we know we're capable. You had one of the more honest post game interviews we've seen in, in a while. Uh, it was pretty well, well received, I imagine, um, across the country. How have you uh, taken that reception? And I'm sure there's been you know, the yeah, I, messages as well. I'm just I just do what I do. I coach the way I coach. I am the what person I am, and sometimes things like that happen. It. Um, it's always a reflection of, of um, what the performance has been like. And for me, we, we worked really hard as a whole club to make sure we got that performance last week to win in a really tight game. Do you feel the pressure? as well into what that pressure has been like, not just for you, but for, for the whole group? Yeah, pressure's, pressure's part of the game. I say that every week. It's, you know, and, and, and in very small moments, it, it, it builds up a little bit, but they're only, you know, they're, they're small moments. Everyone feels pressure. Do you feel some of that pressure has lifted with the win? <laughs> You're kidding, aren't you? <laughs> Nah, not really. But have, a, have a look at the competition, how close it is. It's so tight. You know, every game's going to mean so much. You know, you're going to look at that ladder every week and it's going to go everywhere every week. And, you know, the reality is there's pressure in this game from now right to the very end and everyone who's trying to compete in it would be feeling it. In a coaching sense, when you have a, a win like that and then the week 
week it was? Does it almost do you have more space to coach in this week in terms of your day to day, and it just there's not that as much hovering over you? No, you my, my weeks don't change. Honestly, they don't change. The the noise outside changes sometimes, but my weeks don't change. I I hope, and and I know our club, everyone inside our club turns up with the same. Um, attitude to to get better and, and make sure we get a win each week. So everyone comes to work with the same attitude, not just me, the whole football club, and that's what we do. We don't, we don't, we 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 get that there is outside opinions and stuff that go on all the time. But that's what makes our game great most of the time. It's because people are interested in it. So we need to come to work and be responsible, like you do when you come to work. You've got to turn up, regardless of what's going on in the world. You've got to do your job, and that's what we do. What about confidence? You talked about pressure. But, uh not easy, but what, how much has it done to the confidence of the group? The group's been pretty strong. I mean, the group knows that, that we've been playing, we've been a little bit off with our footy. There's no doubt about that, but as I've said a couple of times, um, most teams in the competition at some point have been a little bit off. That How you can control your way to get better is to go out and work at it, and, and to get your confidence at a level is to continually turn up and work at it, and that's what we do. We um, we hope to gain confidence every time we turn up here at, at the club. Carol and a few others said that uh, the way you celebrated, or and perhaps the way you've celebrated other wins in the past, isn't sustainable, or it's too emotional. How do you react to that? No, I, I don't need to react to it, to be honest. I mean, I look, I coach the way I coach, good or bad. Ken Molesberger last night said the reviews were very strong last week, with forgetting an understanding of roles and structures and so forth. How, how much have they become better at understanding what this game that you want to play has become in the past week or so? Oh well, look! I think every every team, not just our team, every team gets you know you get an opportunity to learn every week, and you know if if you're getting a little bit better every week, that's what you're asking for. A lot of a lot of young players in our team, you know, we've got a lot of knowledge to still gain. We've got some really experienced players in our team who who are there to guide and help them gain that knowledge. It's it's a, a work in progress knowledge for the for anyone that plays AFL football. You you've never got it nailed, and you're always learning. You said last week that that you're a fighter. Sunday was a, a win where you kind of had to fight and the team had to fight. Is sort of winning ugly like that after a few losses one where you almost learn more and get more momentum than if you went out and won by a fair few goals? Winning doesn't hurt. And that's that's all I know. Winning's helpful in any situation. And um, and for us, with the way we've been performing, you know, we, we needed a win. Um, ultimately, we were able to find a way to get that win. That's all that mattered in the end. Given the way you, you left Adelaide Oval last time a, a, as a team, is there... Any trepidation of the, the sort of reception that, that you might receive on no. the weekend? No, I go back to we go back together and, and hope to play really well and that we expect that everyone will be happy at the end of the game. Is it, is it important though, or do you have a message for, for fans that, that they can create a really positive environment to, to help you get over the line? Yeah, I, yeah, support the boys. Support the boys is what I always say, and they do. They, they do support the boys, and I think that's really, really important. Um, you know, they're out there doing their absolute best to get wins for us every week. And that's all we expect of them. Probably since the just showdown, there's been <coughs> games at Adelaide over where you know you've been one way in a quarter, or just hasn't worked out. Is there something that's not cooking for you at home? Are you guys thinking you might you know have that advantage, and it's not, and it's not working for you? No, again, it's a react. You know, we we haven't been playing that well. It's as simple as almost as simple as that. Regardless of where we've played it, we we haven't actually played at the level we'd like to play it. We've had moments, but we just haven't had consistency. And I think the the key to us. And to any good team and any team in the competition is if you can get to a consistent level, regardless of where you play and how who you play against, you actually give yourself a chance. And that's that's our challenge. Every side, I'll say it one more time, every side is at times where they've had things go badly against them this year, bar one. Is there anything more you can do about donkey? <laughs> Not really, no. no. We, um, but what you can't do is put your head, we, we just keep working, put your head in the sand and say we're, we're going to ignore it. No, we'll just keep working. Watch us today, we'll go there and we'll do more goal kicking, we'll do more shots at goal. We'll do all the things we need to um, to give boys confidence that they can go back and execute under pressure. They can get the results that they need. Early in the selection piece, but Last one. both of your debutants keep their spot after. Again, early in selection piece. We've <laughs> got to train and get through. Good question.